there he is. Old Black Lung Morgan. Shut up. Was you followed? Excuse me? Was you followed? Do you know who you're talking to? I ain't sure. I ain't sure about much no more. All I know is there's law whenever you're around. Is that so? Mm. Because it seems to me that since you've been riding with us, there ain't been nothing but trouble. Stirring things up all the time, getting in Dutch's ear. Seems wherever you is, there's Pinkertons and vice versa. So you better watch your goddamn mouth, boy. <laughs> or... <laughs> <laughs> Take it easy, cowboy. You're gonna do yourself a mischief, way your head. Micah, shut it. He started it. <sighs> Dutch says we is to go on with plans to create a diversion. We gotta get some explosives to blow up the bridge. Keep the army out of here a few days. I think it's a real bad idea. I don't think Dutch cares too much what you think. That's clear. We gotta confuse him one last time. Then he and I will head to Blackwater, collect the money, and help everyone leave. He's got a boat lined up. Blackwater's a fool's errand. Everyone knows it. Even a greedy moron like you. It's Dutch's choice, Arthur. You're just a senior gun, same as the rest of us. Only you ain't well. I'm fine. Then you'll do Dutch's bidding, which is robbing a stage that's coming from Annisburg full of explosives. Rob a stage. All we seem to ever do is rob a stage, you and me. Not me. You two. I got my own planning to do. You boys got this. Shit. Guess we have. Come on, Arthur. And cowpoke. Take it easy. You could do with a vacation. Hmm? <coughs> <laughs> jump it as soon as it comes through Van Horn. So you're taking orders from him now? I'm taking orders from Dutch. Same as always. <sighs> A pair of them are becoming unhinged. You hear about Dutch killing Cornwall? Well, that needed to be done. Hey, hold up a second. Pinkerton patrol over there. Okay, I think we're clear. Let's head off. What was you jawing about before? Right now? With the Pinkertons breathing down our necks? See, I'm starting to think that you've gone soft, Morgan. from that way, down from Annisburg. It'll take the two of us to stop it completely or it'll never get done. So I was thinking, you go play dead and I'll take care of him. <laughs> no, I'm the better shot and you, you're the better actor. No, you play dead and I'll cover you. I got that, <coughs> I got that. Oh, that's them coming now, I think. It'll be quite the show.
Let's see if we can get this back to camp without blowing ourselves up. Nice shooting back there. Nice truck play. Comes naturally. Ooh. I could use a drink after that. Oh, uh, no. Just never goes easy no more, does it? Let's see if we can get this back to camp without blowing ourselves up. Nice shooting back there. Nice drug play. Comes naturally. Ooh. I could use a drink after that. Oh, no. Just never goes easy no more, does it? Oh, shit! Deal with them, Arthur! Okay, I'm trying. Quit! They get a one good shot and I'll blow it so the kingdom come! I thought there was no law in there anymore. Does that really matter right now, Bill? What's wrong, Arthur? Nothing at all, boss. John, go drive this over to Bacchus Bridge. Get a hidden near there. He really does think Bill, he's in charge. You go on ahead. 
I need to speak with Arthur. Good work, son. What's going on? Listen. I know we ain't always seen eye to eye, and uh, you find me irritating and a threat, and I like to annoy you. But right now, I need better from you, Arthur. Okay, Micah. Whatever you say. I ain't the bad guy you think I am, Arthur. But I am a survivor. Stick with me and you'll live. Oh, the bridge is probably a two-man job. You should probably go help Marston. Why don't you? Like I said, Dutch and I got planning to do for the train. There's a big picture here, Arthur. Trust me. Yes? Uh, I'm, um, uh, uh... Sorry. I'm looking for, um, the mayor. Yes. Please, uh, Mr. Uh, Kilgore, or what was it? Um, I forget. Quite. Welcome to government. Democracy. An interesting idea, huh? Monsieur Lemieux? Come in. Oh, hello, friend. Hello. Tacitus Kilgore. Oh, really? Okay. Now, you are not going to rob me again, are you? No. I... I'm sorry. Uh... <laughs> Don't worry about it. But you are not a very popular man. There's all kinds of nasty people want to speak to you, Mr. Tacitus. I know. They won't hear anything about you from me. But? Uh, yeah, there's always a but. Of course, I'm a politician. Who needs killing? Nobody. We are not savages, merely Frenchmen. Don't be ridiculous, killing? Oh, dear. Terrifying, yes. I suppose I can do that almost as well as kill. I'm sure you can. Now, it's all very ethical. You see, I've been trying to open a major museum, a place of culture to elevate people's souls. And what do museums need? Uh, art. <laughs> and how do you buy art? I don't know. I buy art of some nasty little man from Paris selling me some destitute aristocrat's collection of old masters that it turns out he may have been painting himself. Ouch. Ouch, indeed. But these are good paintings. I can't make the difference. And I'm French. Only this even nastier little man from New Haven has come here to verify my paintings, and he's saying that they're all fake. So? So perhaps he can be persuaded to revise his opinion. Oh, he's been so beastly. Exactly. Now, Jean-Marc, perhaps you can take Mr. Arthur, oh, I mean Mr. Tacitus, to meet a little Professor Shitface and have a word with him. <laughs> Saint-Denis welcomes you like a son, sir. Bonne chance. Come, sir, if you don't mind. The gallery is just at the end of this avenue. As I said, he is a beastly man, this professor. Believe me, friend, you ain't seen beastly yet. Not even close. You know, I thought we French had a monopoly on arrogance, but no. An overeducated American can be far, far worse. Well, luckily, there ain't too many overeducated Americans around. Yes, indeed. The mayor had such grand plans for our city and its people. We shall have true liberal democracy, working for the rich and the poor alike. It would be a travesty for this one man's opinion. <laughs> Put that into jeopardy. Opinions can change. Can they not? Oh, they change all the time. Of course. 
power of reason is not to be underestimated. Reason. Well, that's one word for it. Good, good. You do not look so much like a rhetorician, but uh, Monsieur Lemieux has placed his faith in you. The gallery is just up ahead. There, Mr. Arthur, there! No. Oh. What's his name again? Professor Shiftaker. Hello, sir. Neoma. Well, I've been better. very well what I found. Every painting was a brazen fraud. <laughs> that's a big claim. One that's gonna upset a lot of people. Myself included. I'm afraid that's just hard cheese. Now I've got a train to catch back to New Haven. Hold on. I see it's gonna take a fist in your face to persuade you. Oh. Oh, wait. Wait. I gotta punch you to change your mind. I couldn't! My reputation! <laughs> How about your reputation now? I I'd never be published again! Reputation is really far less important than a broken nose. Y yes, sir. I, 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 I see that now. The thing is, now people are going to look at those paintings and love them. So you're helping people, really. I, I, you know I'm right, Professor. Please do not get me upset with you no, again. No, 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 sir. You're right. You're very, very right. So you're going to send the mayor what he needs. Uh, because otherwise, I'll be in New Haven. No, no. We don't want that. Of course we don't. I'll write my paper this evening, sir. Very good, Professor. Very good. Morning to you. So, turns out, all those pains were real after oh. all. Problem solved. Wonderful, wonderful. The mayor shall be so pleased. Sure. Was uh, Professor Shiftaker happy to change his mind? He wasn't initially, but uh, he came around in the end. Oh, my lord. This is not right. Trust me, I've done much worse. We shall burn in hell for this. Here's open. Yeah. The mayor asked me to give you this. Oh, thank you. Arthur, <laughs> come in. You said uh, we could go for a hunt. I did. There's this huge she-wolf been stalking me the last few nights I've been out, but she can wait. 
Let's talk a while. Sure. So what do you do? Me? Uh, I'm a wanderer. I was born further north, but I spent a lot of time out west. Funny. I never saw myself as a wanderer, man. Bodies lay so thick, you could have walked across the whole field without your boots touching mud. Those were bad times. Mm. Yes, they were. Would you like some more coffee? Please. Ooh <laughs> what have we here? She's right across there. That close. Oh, 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 oh. She's acting brazen. Come on. Let's mount up. Come on. She went around to the left. Around the lake. She's down here somewhere. Keep up. Gotta get her while she's here. Wolf shouldn't come so close to people. Yeah, it's strange. When the whole country was wild, they could go where they liked. Now they're stuck hiding in the few corners of wilderness we got left. It's a feeling with which I can sympathize. This ain't a country for wild animals, nor wild men, neither. Not anymore, it seems. You hear that? Yep. Quickly now, this way. Up there, on the outcrop, you see her? Let's go around it. Okay, I'm with you. We're on to her. Come on. Okay. Damn. I can't see her. Let's get up to the top. Have a look around from up there. You love pills, don't you, boy? You eat them up for breakfast. Whoa there. What we got here? Is that a fresh kill? Could be. Is the blood set? Let me take a look. Yep, that was her dinner. Now, where'd she get to? My guess, she's gone somewhere over there. Well, there's a whole lot of over there. That's the problem. she is. Got shy all of a sudden. You got some extra miles in you tonight. Oh, if we gotta chase her, let's chase her. All right. Come on. Boy. somewhere safe. Get going, boy. There's a wolf about. You went in there, all right. We got a track. Now you want to take the lead, or shall I? Come on. If you don't mind, I'd like to. Okay, get tracking. I'll be close behind you. I got the trail. This way. Right behind you. Hey, get slow. Do you see anything yet? Just tracks. Get her. Well, what's the worst that can happen? Runs off with the chicken. Oh, I'm fine with losing chickens, but I lost a leg already. 
because I got pulled down my pants for shit in these woods, so. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to lose that. from my complete and unconditional. Yeah, I don't think the wolves would have shown much mercy. That's quite an ambush she let us into. Yeah, bushwhacking, I'd call it. Huh? God damn! Over here! Over here! Whoa! You all right? I was ready to offer my complete and unconditional. Yeah, I don't think the wolves would have shown much mercy. That's quite an ambush she let us into. Yeah, bushwhacking, I'd call it. Huh? God damn! Over here! Over here! Ah. 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 Whoa, you all right? I was ready to offer my complete and unconditional. Damn you, monster! Whoa! You all right? I was ready to offer my comp- Damn you! Monster! Monster! Shit! Arthur! <laughs> <laughs> of them. Look at them. Proud thing. Scary thing. <laughs> they brought us here to be slaughtered. You were after a hunt. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and I guess I got hunted. <laughs> you going back to the cabin? Yeah, nah. Still early. We'll stay up here a while. Dress this animal. I won't likely see another like him for some time. Yeah, I hope I won't <laughs> either. Thanks for taking me out. Yeah, anytime. You want to go out again? Yeah. You come by and see me. So long, then. Yeah. Wait. Here's a pelt. Thank you. Uh, you earned it. So long. Okay, boy. Speak to the story.